Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed today. Today is the 1st of December, which means it's time for another Power War 2 snapshot from last month. So today we're going to look at my Power War 2 from November 2018. Quickly again, this is my situation. I live in Sydney, Australia in a five bedroom, two story house with my two children and my wife. And we have a 3 kilowatt solar array and a 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall too. November is the last month of spring. We've had 176 millimeters of rain, including one day which we had 105 millimeters of rain. You might have seen my video where I was basically stuck in traffic in that very, very rainy day. My pool pump is currently running four to six hours per day. We haven't had to use any heating or cooling, and there's been less than five days of off grid charging for my power wall too. This is my Powerwall 2 snapshot from November and the last week in November on the right hand side. So let's have a look at the left image to start with. As you can see in November, the house was self-powered for 89% of the time, where 50% came from solar and 39% came from the Powerwall 2. In the last week of November, we did even better, where it was 95% self-powered, 48% coming from the sun directly and 47% coming from the Powerwall 2. A few more metrics for you to look at. This is uh, the amount of solar energy that we got from our solar panels. So the left graph is the total amount of solar energy provided in the month of November, 388 kilowatt hours. And the graph on the right shows you the amount of solar energy provided in the last week of November, where it was 99.9 .9 kilowatt hours. Just out of interest, have a look at Wednesday where it dramatically reduced in the number of kilowatt hours. And that was that very rainy day I was alluding to earlier in this video. And it just goes to show what a big difference it makes when the sun is not out compared to the other days. This is uh, a graph of the Powerwall 2. The left hand side of this graph shows you the amount of energy my Powerwall 2 supplied and the amount of energy that went into the Powerwall 2 from the sun. So from the Powerwall 2, I received 187 kilowatt hours for the month of November, and to the Powerwall 2, the sun provided 210 kilowatt hours in total. Some of that, uh, albeit very, very small, came from the grid because of those uh, couple of very rainy days where there was no sun. And the graph on the right shows you how much energy I used from the grid. So from the grid, I used 71.9 kilowatt hours for the month of November. If you divide that out by 30 days, that's about just over two kilowatt hours per day. And I exported 29.4 kilowatt hours back to the grid. And for my three kilowatt system, that's about one kilowatt hour per day over 30 days. And those of you who've been following me know that I love graphs. And so this is a graph of the amount of solar energy charted against temperature and um, number of sunshine hours per day. The yellow bars going up are solar energy in kilowatt hours between July and November. And the green line represents the average high temperature. The aqua line represents the average low temperature. And the red line represents the amount of hours of sunshine per day. You know what's interesting in Sydney, we actually get quite a lot of sunshine regardless of what season we're in. So even though it might be cold outside, um, and it might be cold at night, we still get a fair amount of sun, even in the depths of winter, which is July and August. And uh, looking at November, we're sort of, you know, 13 kilowatt hours per day compared to uh, October was a bit of a dip, but I think we had quite a bit of rain last month. This next graph shows you um, the percentage breakdown between solar and power wall to contribution for the energy provided to the house from both sources. So um, as you can see, as we are heading into summer, my house is becoming more and more self-powered. And interestingly, look at September, October. That's the cutoff, I guess, the, the crossover between which source of energy contributes more to the house being more self-powered. I mean, I know I realize that it's all solar anyway, but you can see that, you know, as we get into October, November towards summer, um, the sun is playing a greater part in contributing to the house um, being more self-powered. Now, in my last video where I looked at the Power 2 performance for October, I combined the two graphs and I realized it's probably a bit confusing because I tried to um, look for a trend. I looked at this again and I agree it is quite messy, but I still think that there is a correlation between the average low temperatures here in Sydney and how self-powered my house is and basically meaning how off-grid I can be. You can see that as the temperature at night increases uh, month by month from July to November, that makes my house more self-powered and uh, the ability to become more off-grid, I guess you can say. So looking at November, you know, the average low temperatures were uh, above 16, 17 degrees at night and then my power to 
uh, and my solar system allowed me to be close to 90% self-powered for the month of November. And finally, I just want to finish off with a very nice email that I received from Corinne Strauss, who is the Chief Executive Officer for Special Olympics Australia. Let me read from this email. Hi, Tesla Tom. I believe you only registered about nine days ago, but already you are doing a great job of raising funds for the athletes and people with an intellectual disability in general. Your goal of $7,500 is awesome, and I hope you achieve it. On behalf of all the team here at Special Olympics and our athletes, please accept our heartfelt appreciation for all the good you are doing. Warm regards, Corrine Strauss, Chief Executive Officer, Special Olympics Australia. This email is as much to me as it is to you guys who have donated so far to this very, very important cause. Uh, looking at the amount of money that I've received so far, which is just short of $5,000, I reckon about 25% of that amount is coming from viewers directly from my YouTube channel. So guys, thank you very much for supporting this very, very worthy cause. And thank you, of course, to my family and friends who are backing me uh, for this very important day that we're doing next weekend. Have a look at this uh, chart here um, of all the teams that are, are taking part in this event. As you can see, Team Tesla or Team Tesla Owners Club of Australia is at $9,711, which is the third and just a little bit short of Team Lamborghini and Mixed Cars, which is at second. So guys, I can't stress this enough, like Team Tesla, we have to win this event. I know it's not a race, but come on, we have to get the most amount of funds for Special Olympics Australia. We want them to see how generous Team Tesla is and how generous Tesla supporters are and how generous electric vehicle supporters are. I mean, Corinne, the CEO from Special Olympics, says she wants to meet me on um, next weekend. And wouldn't it be great for me to shake her hand and say, look, you know, because of our generous viewers and um, or our generous supporters, Team Tesla is now the most generous club in Australia supporting Special Olympics. So guys, there's only eight days left before the big day. There's still time to get in there. I'll leave a link to my fundraising page in the description below and as a pinned comment. So guys, no amount of money is too small and we'd really appreciate anything you can give for this very, very special and worthy cause for Special Olympics Australia. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Please leave a comment and ask any questions you might have of my month of November. And hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world because it certainly is here in Sydney. It's a glorious sunny day. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score six months of free supercharging. Happy charging!